shenanigans. That's what it's all about, right? Democratic Party. <laughs> Ocasio, uh, there's a there's a dust up in New York politics. If you're following it. Alejandro Ocasio Cortez. I didn't think I'd have to say her name again, but I do. Alessandro Ocasio Cortez eh? beat, uh, quote, beat, cheated, whatever. Um, Joe Crowley in the Democratic primary, right? We all know about it because it's all over the news, right? The big, the big, you know, the great progressive hope. Ooh, Ocasio Cortez. So, so the dust up is this, right? In New York, because it's so corrupt and so, so fucked up, right? Cor uh, Crowley runs. He's he's on both. He's on two ballots, right? He's on the Democratic Party ballot, and he's on the Workers Party ballot. Now, when you vote in New York, you see it. You see the two different ballots. Sometimes same name is on two ballots, right? So, according to the rules. <laughs> Now there's rules, right? Now the Democrats and the Democratic Party who controls the New York the New York elections. Now there's rules, right? So the 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 fictitious working families party, right? Can't vacate Joe Crowley's name. <laughs> that means Joe Crowley is on the ballot, whether you like it or not. To challenge our Ocasio Cortez, so see, see what, see what happens. They they lift you, they lift you up, <sighs> let you down. That's democratic politics. So come November sixth, Joe Crowley's name will appear. Now there's a whole dust up, and they're they're accusing each other of ignoring each other, right? Ocasio Cortez says, "I called you three times and you didn't answer," and Joe Crowley says, "No, we responded and you didn't answer." So they they they're having a a stupid piss fight. But know that know the know who you're dealing with. You're dealing with the fourth most powerful Democrat in Congress, right? Joe Crowley. You think he's gonna just? You think they're just gonna give that shit up? If there's any risk whatsoever that 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 Ocasio is gonna lose to the Republican, the jerk off, that she she she, she look these these lunatic lefts are not capable of, of governing anything. Ice, get rid of ice! Oh, fucking ice! <laughs> they're not. They're, they're, they're unstable, they're unstable idiots, right? So Joe Kraut, so that, just, just a heads up on the shenanigans in New York. It, it's not over. Democratic Party will probably, um, you know, leading up to November, smear Ocasio-Cortez. See, she can't manage, She's, you know, and, and try to, and, and, and Joe Crowley comes in, saves the day, and saves the seat, right? That's probably what will happen, right? But who cares, right? Because it's it's just because if if Ocasio gets in anyway, she's gonna have to play ball, and that's that's the threat now. See, you either play ball or we don't we don't put you in Congress. See how the fucking deceptive they are? This is politics. This is this is how you seize power. No, my name is Marcus Conti. I'm an investigative journalist and I'm a candidate for the United States Senate. And I've been hinting all along that uh, I'm working on something. I don't have it ready yet. I'm still dealing with massive poison ivy <laughs> it's causing me not to sleep so I, I have I have an idea and and uh, this has to stop right because in New York alone 26 out of 27 incumbents won the won their nomination for Congress they'll go back to the Senate they'll go back to Congress the House of Representatives uh, Gillibrand was not challenged by any Democrat I'm the only challenger there's some jerk off Republican <laughs> so what I'm what I'm proposing is is a um, is a political organization with momentum and breadth of the people by the people and for the people, and it defies Justice Democrats. It defies Tea Party. It it doesn't defy, but unifies all these uh, these ideas that the real threat is corporate rule. That we must break ourselves from corporate rule, right? An independent voice in this country is probably around 40 percent right and we need to we need to ignite that 40 percent and exceed the margin of cheating a landslide to to recapture our house and recapture our senate and get rid of all these people right because look you look on the news the fbi cia they're still chasing Stro strozak and 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 comey and 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 half you know most of the progressive quote 
you know, new media is, is, is covering it like it's a big deal and Q, oh Q, oh Q, 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 Q. Q's a, Q's a fucking piece of, he's a fiction, fictional character, right? He's nothing, right? Trump is, you know, Trump is just accelerating the downslide of the American, you know, way of life with this, um, with these failed economic policies. So my idea is to present a organization, and I'll, I'm finalizing it now. I'm just trying to secure the name and on Facebook and YouTube and all that stuff, and trying to, trying to, trying to um, capture this thing and see. And it's gonna. It really depends on on the viewers. If people get behind it, I'll I'll continue to fuel it and you know make other people moderators of the channel or whatever but and um, so that's what we need we need we need a unified voice my platform is in every video right it's it's it, you have to you have to attack the enemy vigorously it's corporate america it's it's monopoly oligarchy it's a set few amount of people with billions of dollars that are controlling not only the the markets, but they're controlling the narrative through the media. Right? They get they get you know because they control CNN, MSNBC, Politico, all these fucking New York Times. They control all of these um, outlets, and they they create a unified false narrative that regular people don't even know what's going on in the world. They don't even realize that one in seven people are on food stamps. That. 70% of the country doesn't have $400 to their name, right? That $700 billion was just, you know, uh, allocated to the military to fight an enemy we don't have, you know, that kind of stuff. So, so just, you know, be patient. It's Friday. Uh, um, my name is Marcus Conti. We'll watch the dust up in New York. Sunday is the, uh, the, the uh, World Cup between France and Croatia. I, I, I thought, you know, I thought... I would like to see France win, but I'll, I'm, I'm going to bet on Croatia. Right. So, peace out.